Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to add the Instagram feed on any WordPress website using a free plugin. This is an example of the Instagram feed that I have added on this WordPress website. You can see the posts are coming up on the WordPress page and it is loading the post automatically. This Instagram feed is fully customizable. You can change the number of columns. You can change the color settings. You can add the captions at the bottom and you can also change the layout of the Instagram feed. You can make it grid layout. You can also have the carousal layout or the masonry layout. So let's see how we can add the Instagram feed on any WordPress website using the free plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm going to use the free Spectra Page Builder plugin to add the Instagram feed on your WordPress website. So on this website, I have already installed the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. Those who are new to the channel, I have already published a video on how to install and use the free Spectra Page Builder plugin to add more blogs to your WordPress website. It is going to add new blogs to your default WordPress editor. And I have also installed the free Spectra Pro plugin on this website. As of now, the Spectra Pro plugin is free to download. You can simply go to this website and download the free Spectra Pro plugin. In the previous video, I have shown you how to install the free Spectra Pro plugin. I'll give you the links in the description box if you want to watch how to use and install this free Spectra as well as the free Spectra Pro plugin. So this is the dashboard of the Spectra plugin and all these blocks are available to use. If I go to Pro, you will see all these Pro blocks that you can use and here you will see Instagram feed. So let's go to one of the pages here. I have one demo page here. Let me open it. Go to edit section. Now here click on plus sign and you will see all the Spectra blocks that you can use. So I'm going to search for Instagram and you will see the option here Instagram feed. Click on it. Let's close it and it says link an Instagram account from the Spectra dashboard. All right. So first we will need to link the Instagram account. So I'll go back to the Spectra dashboard and here you can go to settings or click on settings here and click on integrations. Now we need to integrate the account. You will see the option here Instagram accounts link your Instagram accounts or enable developer mode to link someone else account. Okay, so I'm going to click on link a personal account. You need to enter your login details for the Instagram account. So I'm going to log in to the Instagram account here. Click login. Allow Instagram to use cookies and similar similar technologies. Click allow. Click allow. It shows that the user is linked. This is the account. This is the Instagram account that I'm going to link on this website and it, I'll try to show the Instagram feed on the WordPress website. So let's go back to the website. Go to the pages. I'm going to refresh this one. Click on the plus sign again and search for Instagram. Click it. Now you will see the option here, select a user. So I'm going to select this user that we have just added and you will see the feeds are available. So all these feeds will be shown on the website. Now let's go to the right hand side and you will see the settings for this feed. This is the user. If you want to switch user, if you want to add another user, you can simply go to settings and link another account. Now you can change the layout from here, masonry, carousal. So I'm going to select masonry. These all seems to be mobile videos. So it's not going to make any changes here. How many columns do you want? Before that, let's update it. And let's see how does this look on the actual page. So this is how it will look. All the Instagram feeds will be shown on the website. Now here, if I change the column to let's say two, so it will show two columns. Let's change it to four columns. This one also looks good. Total post, how many posts do you want to show? I'm going to change it to 28. So it will show 28 posts in four columns. Open Instagram on click. So this, if someone clicks on it, it will open the Instagram. You can keep it as it is. This is for the pagination. At the bottom, you will see the pagination. So we need to enable the pagination here. So I'm going to enable it. 
and post per page i'm going to select let's say 28 and total in total i want to select 100 okay so it will show 100 post and for the pagination i have selected 28 we have selected four columns and we can have button load more this is the load more button let's update it and see how does this look let's go back to the page refresh it so after 28 it should show the load more let's use the loader here caption display captions so if you have captions it is going to show the caption here overlay so type of caption will be overlay or you can have bar over image outside image let's select like this so this is outside the image you can over the image so this is over the image this one looks good so i'm going to keep it as it is always visible or show on hover so if i select show on hover it will say show only when you move the cursor on the image so i'm going to select always visible and this is the position you can make it center line top bottom so i'm going to keep it on bottom let's update it and refresh it so now you can see that it is going to load the post or the feed automatically these are the feeds that we have on this instagram account now let's go to style settings here and here we have the style settings enable hover zoom so when i move the cursor it is going to zoom in the image if i change it to zoom out it will be like this so i'm going to keep on zoom in enable blur overlay so let's enable it and let's see okay so it's going to blur the image right so i'm not going to use it border here if you want to add border you can add the border let's select solid and you'll see the change here if i select dotted you will see the dotted border you can change the width so i'm going to select none let's add some radius here so this is how to look so we have a radius here right now let's go to the caption and here you will see the caption setting this is the bar color right now it is set to black and the text color is white if you want to change the color you can change it from here just like this this is for the caption pagination here you will see the pagination color so i'm going to select blue and let's go to box shadow this is the box and i'm going to use the shadow so you will see some shadow here not for the column this is for the box if you want to add spacing you can add spacing you have the gap between post is eight if you change it to nine or ten you will see the change in here click update let's refresh it you will see the border radius you will also see the zoom effect we have changed the color of the caption and you can see it's going unlimited here let's go back to general tab and change it to go to pagination and change it to button let's update it let's go back all right so for some reason it's not showing button here so i'm just going to keep it on loader update let's go to the advanced tab and here you will see animation so these are the animation if you want to add animation let's see i'm going to use fade up this is how it is going to come up so the entire block will fade up fade left so i'm not going to select anything here display condition if you do not want to show this on any of the browser you can select browser and from here you can select any browser let's see firefox so if you select firefox it is not going to show this block on the firefox click none responsive condition if you want to hide it on the tablet you can simply hide it on the tablet or on the mobile devices so let's go to the responsive mode here for the tablet this is how it is going to look so i'm going to select the block here and go to general and for the tablet we are going to change the settings to let's say three so this is how it will look on the tablet and other settings we will keep it as it is let's go to the mobile and for the mobile it is showing one column i'm going to make it two columns here you will see the loader 
So this is how it will look on the mobile device. Let's close this one. Let's see. Looks good. This is how it will look on the tablet and this is how it will look on the desktop. Let's update it. Let's go back to the page and refresh it. All right, so this is how you can show the Instagram feed on any WordPress website using the free Spectra Pro plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.